All right, guys, some super exciting news. Um, black support for Donald Trump is at 39%, which is amazing. It just keeps tracking upward. After all that, Kanye West is going to save the black community from the Democrats. Ken Zoas is going to save the black community from the Democrats. Turning Point USA is going to save the black community from the Democrats. Meanwhile, 90% of the black vote went to the Democrats. <laughs> Have you learned your lesson yet, conservatives? Everybody say, so just keep it going. Roger here. First off, I want to give a big thank you and shout out to a couple of people. Uh, Halsey English, thanks for having me on your show. It was it was an honor to um, um, chat with you for a bit. And Dustin Gold, uh, it was uh, you're a very intelligent man. I've heard of you before. Uh, as one of my uh, I hate to say it, and, and how long I've been on the internet, one of the first times I've actually uh, seen you talk, and you're you're very articulate and uh, and uh, know your shit. So. Uh, uh, kick ass it was very awesome to to be a part of the segment with you you two, and uh, also to analytical trick for making it happen. So thank you all, uh, and for those of you who watched, uh, uh, thank you. And uh, go support Halsey. Go su go support uh, Dustin. Go support uh, analytical trick, and uh, and there we have it. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about uh, the election where we're at at this point. Um, and just some just some thoughts, nothing nothing uh, technical or anything. But uh, you know, we have this issue in Arizona right now with uh, Martha McSally and uh, and Kirsten Cinema. Basically, Cinema is now leading the pack with a couple uh, thousand votes ahead of uh, McSally. And it's just again, uh, apparently there's ballot boxes that were found or something, and and uh, there's still votes not being counted. This was yesterday during the during the live stream that I had with Halsey and and it's just really odd that things come like this all at the same time it's happening right now there it's happening in Florida um, I believe Georgia is asking for a recount it's just ridiculous what's going on now overall why am I bringing this up why am I bringing Texas up why am I bringing Georgia up and why am I bringing Florida up those two those latter two loosely uh, the reason why is because we have been influenced by groups, by certain groups, uh, Turning Point USA, <laughs> again, I'm picking on you, uh, and some other, you know, uh, Republican Latino, Republican gay, etc. communities basically saying, oh, you know, the blacks are voting a lot more. The blacks have so much support for Trump. Oh, the Mexicans, the gays, all, all of us have more support for Trump. You know what's missing? This is why I never fell or wanted to be associated with any of these categories. This is why I've always been critical about them because it's a fabrication. It's a farce. They're not. Te they're. They're teaching you. They're taking you from one plantation to another. They're saying, okay, the the Democrats did this. The Democrats started slavery. The Democrats were uh, 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 are using Mexicans, bringing them in, and and uh, which is really both the left and the right, and some in between that are allowing uh, cheap labor to come in mostly illegal cheap labor under the table, tax-free, etc. Um, and also some minimum wage uh, workers who do take American jobs and, and bring our, our uh, opportunities down for people in, you know, just starting their lives uh, or needing to have a life, you know, teenagers in general, black, black teens are the ones most affected by illegal immigration and even legal immigration. So yeah, uh, we have that scenario there, but in general, these people, these groups, these supposed right-wing groups that are niche, gay, Mexican, minority, black, it's all a farce. What they should be teaching is having you 
decide for yourself. They should be teaching individualism, if or, or not even teaching. They should be promoting that. They're not. They're pushing lies to your face, like Candace Owens going on TV. Oh, the black vote's going to be this. We're going to have a a red wave or or a red tsunami or whatever. You know. I didn't buy into any of that shit and you shouldn't have either. You should have been doing your research along the way to find out. A lot of the people that are in defense of Candace and Turning Point USA always come back at me and say, well, you know, at least she's doing something for the movement. At least she's doing something for the movement. At least she's doing something for the movement. No, that's wrong. Movements do not make things happen. Well, and again, I say that loosely, but in general, most movements don't make things happen. They make things worse. In this case, they have made it worse. They are they are pushing you to this plantation. You're going to feel used. These people who were easily influenced to be to believe these uh, groups are going to eventually change their mind. They're going to be like fly by night people, uh, uh, with fair weather fair, fair weather groupie fans. You know, they're going to jump into the next bandwagon later on down the line because they want to be the winner. Or the people that are probably going to win. It, it makes, it doesn't accomplish anything. So the ultimate result here is this. We have these fake movements that think, that, that coerce people into thinking that things are going to happen. They're both, nobody's even, those kind of people aren't even looking at how close this these elections are. How much closer they're getting. How much more dim, uh, 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 leftist they're getting. These people are usually coerced and they don't. What's, what's, what's wrong with this is that they're not looking at the possibility of, of educating these people instead of just putting them, you know, forcing them to believe that the right is right, that the conservatism is the right movement. They're forcing them to just accept that fact and then and go along their merry way. They're not encouraging them. They're not encouraging them to actually look at the real deal here. You know, the, the possibilities that, that, that they could be educating themselves about all sides to see what, what eventually they come to as a great conclusion whether it's going to be you know something that I go against or 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 that I'm for personally I don't give a shit I don't give a shit because freedom of the mind is more important at this point um, and then let may the best ideas win and at this point you know maybe add some tactics in between because the best minds in the Democratic Party do not win any arguments but their tactics do their tactics do <clears throat> and that's the sad part so now even with these tactics though, what could have ended up happening is these groups, they focused on telling these uh, followers um, uh, how to just just learn things. We could have had probably a lot more YouTubers instead of putting out, oh, I love Trump, I love this, I love that about Trump, I'm gay, I love Trump, I'm, I'm black and I love Trump, I'm Mexican and I love Trump, I'm a minority and I love Trump, it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. General videos like that are a dime a dozen. What I don't see is any of these Turning Point USAs churning out anybody with with logical thought regarding any of this stuff, with logical analysis to actually motivate other people and branch out. We don't see that. We just see that they gathered the sheep and that was it. And that is the problem. That is the biggest problem of them all in this election. And it's one of the reasons why we're turn all these mostly red states are now turning blue. And uh, it's, it's sad. It's very, very sad. <clears throat> And um, we need to be scared. This election is, uh, this, this midterms is a big warning sign of what's to come. It, 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 yeah, sure, we narrowly won a lot of things. And right now we're at risk of losing a couple uh, in Arizona and Florida for sure. Um, very, very scary. And uh, imagine what the next, the next midterms are going to be like. You know, if we, again, if we don't have a wall, we're going to continue allowing these uh, mig migrants in, um, uh, again, I'm not against immigration. I love uh, how America is, I would say, diverse, but as long as they're within the same culture as us, you know, they have the same mindset, um, they understand American values, and they, they love them just as much as we do as, as Americans. That, that I will accept. But when you start bringing in people who will not contribute, who are going to start weighing down America, who are going to start bringing down wages, who are going to, who are going to make all of these people who are continually... Uh, at the mercy of illegal immigration and stagnant wages and not able to get anywhere, they're going to keep wanting to vote blue. They're going to want to blo vote blue, and uh, women, for the most part, want to vote blue. Blacks, I mean, statistically, uh, Tree, again, you hammered it in your video, 9% of the black vote went to, Republic uh, went to Republicans, and uh, 91 or 90% went to Democrats. So yeah, there was no red wave Candace. There was no red wave Brandon Tatum. There was no red wave Charlie Kirk, Massa Charlie Kirk. Kirk. Turning Point USA, farce. Change your, change your tactics. Get people to actually 
um, 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 learn something. Don't just herd them. You've herded them way too much. This is the result. You have drones out there. Again, I can go watch a I Love Trump YouTube video, a dime a dozen. I don't need that shit anymore. We need people with with great argument. We need people with a great outlook. We need gr- people with with opinions. We need people with questions and questioning things. We don't need any more of this zombified, I've, I love Trump, I love Trump, I love Trump. Granted, I like Trump. I like Trump. I don't like all of his policies. I, uh, but I, but I, I, I yearn for his promises to be, to be made. And, uh, and, uh, let's stop making zombies. Let's start seeing that the threat is real with basically a foreign invasion of coming in and turning everything blue, making us more of a socialistic type of a nation. Eventually it's going to happen. Unfortunately, I hate saying this, but it is true. Demographics do matter. Demographics do matter. I was a hard head about it for a little while, but when you look at the big picture of it, you have to be honest about it. You know, our, uh, but, but it's our job as, as minorities, as LGBT, whoever is leaning on the right, as, as any, any, any sort of minority group outside of whites uh, and, and with whites, I'm not, I'm not trying to make this into a, into a sec, separate, separate thing, but it's our job in general to just teach people and, and, and show them the way of, of, uh, of, of learning what the American culture is about, uh, how it can benefit you as an individual trying to be, uh, uh independent, uh, and, and the beauty of it and the freedoms. And then I think once, once we start influencing like me, if I start influencing other minors or minorities like that, uh, or people in the LGBT commu- community, or I, I, I do it to everybody, but I'm just saying those in general for this example here, um, they would begin to look at it like, oh, wow, you know, I didn't know that, you know, I thought I was oppressed. I thought I was this, I thought I need welfare. I thought I need to be depending on the government all this time, you live your life fully when, um, or, and, and again, I'm not, I'm not living a full life right now. I'm, it's, there's still things I have to work on, but you gear towards it and you, and that's an ambition you have. You work harder, you work harder and you contribute to America. You contribute to your family. You contribute to, um, living life, I guess. And, and again, I don't have all my ducks lined up in a row, but I do try and I do believe in it. And I think that that's what we need to motivate because even it doesn't matter if you're white or black or whatever, you can learn those values and then in your head you're going to be like, wow, maybe I don't need to vote blue. Maybe I don't need to vote blue. My best interest is, is voting maybe not even red, maybe independent or another party. Or, but you look at the policies in between. You look at the things that these, these groups, because they're ever shifting. They are ever shifting. The left is very crazy at this point <clears throat> with crazy ass policies. And then you have the right with... Uh, um, but but you learn and you go and you go and look at your candidates. You look at what they voted for in the past. Uh, you look at what their stances are. You look at their history. You look at Pro- Project Veritas videos, who was the MVP, by the way, of this uh, midterms, uh, definitely. So kick ass on your team and and uh, Mr. O'Keefe there. So I hope you all understand what I'm saying. You know, anybody has the potential to be an American so long as you come here with American values. We don't need to be bringing everybody in. You're just destro- doing so only weakens that other country. And even then, when we start bringing in people with great minds from other countries, yeah, let's bring in a couple, but let, we should be motivating them to make their own America, America in their countries as well. You know, take, take us as a model. Don't just flood to us and then watch us break down and then we have nothing like it. So... Uh, that's, that's my video. Um, what are you guys' thoughts? Do you think that, um, that, uh, Charlie Kirk and Turning Point USA, Candace Owens, Brandon Tatum, uh, and unfortunately at this point, um, uh, uh, God, I really hate saying this one. Uh, Anthony Brian Logan are right in this. You know, I, I respect Anthony Brian Logan, uh, and I still do, but, um, I, I, I lost a little bit of respect for him when he said he didn't want to question Candace because they were friends. Um, what are you guys' thoughts overall on, on the election results? Do you think, uh, my, do you, do you think like me, like the future is actually pretty dangerous? This is a showcase of what's to come. You know, there is realistically, there's a blue, not a blue wave right now happening. Um, but long term, within the next couple of years, there is a blue something coming and you're going to be blind if you're not, if you're not careful, I'm not saying the red is perfect. Um, you know, they, 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 they love illegal immigration just as much as the, as the left does, uh, for selfish reasons. Well, all of them for selfish reasons, but, uh, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, um, uh, the blue wave is coming. The blue wave is coming and you're being naive by promoting these, uh, these, these, uh, turning point USAs and, and these stupid ass marginalized groups and saying, just vote Trump, but you're not making, you're not making people into critical thinkers. You're making them into more followers and that's dangerous for the future. What are you guys' thoughts on that? Because I'll have a great day. Peace out. Okay,